nothing too big I just want to do a shorty and test some gear because I got a new tent it's a trekking pole tent that ought to be interesting and I got a new sleeping pad uh, so this is gonna be a gear testing and gear review weekend I'll get more into the gear itself later but um for now I opted for a short hike I'm doing the 2.7 miles from Route 25 heading Sobo on the Appalachian Trail to Wachu Paku Pond. I've already been here, I already did this section. Um, of course, I did the most of this trail, actually all this trail into the pond in the dark, so this is the first time seeing it in light. The bugs are assholes. Shocking, I know. Um, yeah, so just a short 2.7 out to the pond. And then 2.7 back to the car tomorrow. Easy breezy. Not too much elevation. I might go up, um, I think it's called Webster Cliff or something like that. I don't know, there's a small hike up there near the pond that goes up on a ledge and has a nice view looking over the pond. Maybe I'll go do that, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Not rambling. <laughs> I'm still gonna ramble. There was a gentleman in the parking lot. I guess his wife has uh, been out for the last couple months finishing up her section to section hike the whole thing. So she was going, I think, New York to Maine or something like that. So he was actually out there. Um, he came to visit her while she was on trail for a couple days and he was out there doing trail magic. He offered me some, but I said no, because I'm only just starting my day. And, uh, <laughs> save that for the hungry hikers. But, so, awesome. Met a trail angel. Didn't catch his name, didn't chew the shit too long. But, good times. Forecast said, it's like a 15% chance of showers. It is slightly overcast, but... I looked and it said it was only be like 70 something today. They lied. It's like 82 when I got to the trailhead parking lot. And it's humid. So I'm glad I'm hiking to a pond because I might end up just jumping in. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. more later. I got to a spot that actually looked familiar. I recall stopping the last time I did this trail for a bathroom break. I believe I just crested the hill. I think there might be one more bit of an up before I go down to the pond. I can't really remember, but whew, fucking workout, man. Um, I feel like, I mean, it was hard in the dark because <laughs> it seemed like it was like Almost like it was never ending, but at the same time it felt short. Yet in the daylight, seeing what I'm going up was like, really, I think I like doing this better in the dark. <laughs> it didn't seem so brutal. <laughs> but that is the AT. Every time there is a road crossing or parking area, you're guaranteed to be going up from that spot immediately after. So, that's what I just did. Ew, squishy mud. Yummy. Whew. It's very pretty out here, though. It's not quiet. I 
Nothing but the birds, man. Nothing but the birds. <sighs> Hopefully I'll run into some through hikers that maybe hike this far and decide to camp there too. We'll see. In worst case scenario, I'm camping with myself. Not the end of the world. another up couple of them actually <laughs> ups and downs and what's crazy is hiking in all of a sudden I could see this body of water and I'm like ooh where's the blue blaze and I'm looking I'm looking like, where's the trail junction and then I started swinging uphill and away from the water I was like really I was like was that not it it was I just had to go up and over another hill to get to the trail junction just like walk back downhill Gotta love it. You gotta work for these things. I don't want anybody else to be down here, but we'll see. It said there was no running water on this trail, but I found some. It's slow running, but it's running nonetheless, so there's a spot for me to get water from if I need more, which is great. But, here we go. I can see the pond. I don't know if anybody else will be down here. I mean, I'm okay with having the place to myself. Maybe I'll see moose or bears or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. I did bring my rock sock, so it's gonna be entertaining when I get to try and hang the bear bag later all by myself. <laughs> Not really good at it. Last time I was here, there was a bunch of guys camped out. I took a different way in, I guess an easier way, an old logging road. And it's going up and over the hill. I wish I knew that route, but I don't, so whatever, I worked for it. But they had all this food and they were camped out. God, they fed, fed us all kinds of good stuff. I don't want to whisper it, but. somewhere. Dang, my 
bear bag at some point. For the moment. It's gorgeous. Okay. So, I'm not sure 100% if this is quite right, but <laughs> I think I got it. So this is the Meyer. Oh shoot, let me see what it's called. I took a picture of it before I left. So I know what the hell I was talking about. The Meyer Lanchin. One or two person backpacking tent. I'm not so sure about two people. <laughs> um, I think I have it set up right. Not 110%. I mean, I followed the directions. It does seem a little flimsy like I screwed up a little. I might have to adjust a couple corners down that side. This side's nice and taut. There's one side that is not. So I might have to fix that a little. Especially where it's a bit breezy. Hopefully the thing doesn't come down on me in the middle of the night. But um, I got my guy lines on. I pulled those all nice and tight. I got a little excited at one minute. I heard people. Thought they might be coming down here. But I think they were just hiking on by. But I am all set. My door is facing towards the water. So when I come out of my tent in the morning. Or when I wake up. Besides the guy line being in the way. I kind of have a view. There's some bushes in my way too, but it was the flattest spot. So there she is. My new pad, the Gear Doctor sleep pad is in there. It is self-inflating. So I opened the valve. I gotta let air go in it for a few. And then I will um, put like five more puffs of air in it and it should be good to go. I did do a little, um, kind of went in, I did a quick like, dunked my shoulders and got out as quick as possible because I am scared shitless of leeches. I wish somebody else would show up so I could see if somebody else goes in and gets covered. If not, I know it's safe. I know people swim here all the time, but I'm a chicken shit. But it's so pretty. Peaceful. I was thinking about going up to the ledge thing, but I don't really feel like it. So... I'm just going to be chilling here for the afternoon. I'm going to gather some firewood and have a little fire later. Perfect. Perfection. I'm going to fix my tent now. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, I'm not alone anymore. Um, some young people rolled into camp, a group of three. Um... Crap, I'm really bad with names, so I already forgot. But, uh, it's okay. They're, like, my son's age, so. Like, I think one's 18, one's 19, one's 21. So, they're camping out for the night. They got their hammocks. They were brave. They went in the water and swam, and there was no leeches, so I actually went back in. And now that it's, like, 7.30, we still have some daylight. We're all going to hike up to the ledges together. I just went ahead a little because they're filling up water. But yeah, I got company. Nice little group. Good group of kids. Love seeing young people out here. And we have a loon hanging out in the um, pond all by himself. Making a ruckus. Yeah. I'll show you more about the ledges. Brillo, if you watch this, this is what it was supposed to look like the day we came up here on the Webster slide with no clouds.
somewhere down there you can't see. It's like directly below us. You know, like really, like that point there? Yeah, like where it comes on out. the right. No, kind of like in the middle of our view. Like where the oh, gorgeous. Oh, All right. Okay. I gotta get some pictures. Just a beaver or otter swimming on by. <laughs> hey guys so as luck would have it um my last video for my last hike um my outro did not record <laughs> it turns out i had it on take picture mode not video mode oops um but i did have a great overnight at wachapaku pond just off the at um, in New Hampshire, so that was actually a lovely out and back hike just just to test gear um, I gotta say the tent was um, really nice after I got it finally set up and figured that out Did have to retighten some things a few times, but I managed I got it done. So with practice. I'm sure I'll get better at it um, The hike out was a breeze. It was a little rainy that day. So um, and Overcast it was a little bit cooler. The bugs were ferocious. So I was moving and didn't really video much at all but um all in all what a great little hike out and back just to test gear um i will do a full review on the tent and sleeping pad over this weekend um and then hopes to do another section hike next weekend um in vermont uh, so that's all and i thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel and keep a lookout for an upcoming video where i will be announcing a short end-to-end -end through hike and a um that i'm going to be doing for 46 climbs so i will be sharing about that soon so keep your eye out thanks again don't forget to like and subscribe